install one of these uh, thermostats for your heater. Um, pop the cover off right there. And make sure you have your um, uh, Phillips bit um, ready to go. You can use a screwdriver or on your drill. Um, go ahead and pull the ends off so those are ready to go. Grab some wire nuts. You're just going to tie these together. It is specific. Um, make sure that if it is, most of them are, but <coughs> the black wire <coughs> is the load and the red is the line. So that means your red is your power and black goes down to the heater or your switch leg. Um, so in the box, it's kind of hard to tell, but this wire I can just tell right now, none of these are labeled, but it only takes a second to know which one goes where because the power comes from the top and the wire going down to the heater straight below um, is coming out of this wire right here. So I already know that this wire is going straight down a couple feet to the heater. So this is my load right here. And that's gonna go to my black wire. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna tie the black to the heater wire or the load. And I always pull on to make sure it's not gonna come out and then there's no ground. And then lastly, you got your hot wire or your line. And that's usually coming from down the wall. Um, but also if you have multiple hot wires in there, you can tell it's the hot wire from the uh, pigtail or the wire nut with the black. So both black wires in the wire nut. Um, so then you're just going to fold these into the wall. Once again, I'm going to have to pop these holes because these boxes are trash. So these boxes are super terrible, so I have to pop the holes because they're kind of like glazed over. So just really bad boxes. So anyways, I'm going to put the thermostat at the top and then start screwing these in. <clears throat> Make sure your wires aren't going to be smashed in the wall or anything. And then be very careful on uh, be very careful on the top because if you already notice, maybe you don't. But you're going to need to use a regular screwdriver because for some reason, don't know why, they put this screw like behind the thermostat so when you go to use your drill it just destroys this takes all the paint off so if you do it by hand um, it's a lot less um, doesn't do as much damage so and also make sure it's kind of screwed in the middle because if you leave it on the left side it's going to destroy that spot and if you do it on the right side it's going to do the same thing so if you put it somewhere in the middle and twist it it kind of spins with it and doesn't really do any damage at all so once you get to the edge, you just kind of rotate it back. So, okay, I just have to do this one by hand. And hopefully this box doesn't strip out on me. Yeah, I don't know who invented this. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. If I'm doing it wrong, someone please tell me if there's an easier way because um, I've never known an easier way. So this is how I've always done it. Unless you, like, screw this in and push it down and then it's out of the way and then you lift it back up and then screw that screw in. That's the only way that I'm thinking it could happen. But, um, so that one's tight now. You can throw your level on there. And then make sure it's level and screw down the bottom screw once it is. So right about there. Uh, a little bit off. So, I guess I will loosen up really quickly. Alright, right there. And then just take your level off. And then you are done. There you go. So hopefully this helped you guys out, and if you guys got any helpful tips for me, leave them in the comments below, I'd appreciate that.
make my life easier, but I will do it, guys, for the thermostat. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Um, don't forget to like the video, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Check the description for anything else. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload or do live streams. Thanks, guys.